again youtubers so I am sitting down to clean out my brushes and I have a lot of brushes and the difference with brushes versus a lot of the makeup is brushes you feel as if like a they're not gonna go bad and B you feel as if they're things that you just might get an idea to use or they might change the way something goes on so it is a little bit harder to get rid of brushes so we're gonna see how that goes and I will show you right here what the drawer looks like first all right so what i have down here is this is my brush roll with my everyday used ones that i'll go through i do have a whole container of brushes up here that i mix and match with this is a big container with all face brushes i have a small one back here with concealer brushes then i have eye brushes more eye brushes with some face brushes and then foundation brushes over here we're going to pull them out and go through all of them all right brushes this is kind of crazy so let's see here first thing is, is i have my brush roll and this is the brushes that i pretty much use every single day i will go through those very last um, i do have one container that i keep up on my vanity that's brushes that i kind of every once in a while grab for or are ones that i change out to and then i have in that drawer is this big bad boy with lots and lots of brushes all of these glass containers are from like a um a c moore michaels craft type shop and then i just get the little beads um there as well so then this one is like foundation slash face brushes wow these things need to be clean so that's the other thing i'm going to do once i take all these brushes out this one is eye brushes primarily with you can see a couple face brushes in there this one was more eyeliner style brushes again some face brushes got stuck in there and then this one is more foundation and concealer style brushes let's start with foundation concealers things like that this first is in there this is a brush that has a metal like almost like pins on one side to go through um, and separate your mascara and then a comb for your brows i do like that i will be keeping that <clears throat> this is the first brush that i ever owned a mac 190 brush it's it's one of those things that like I'm more keeping it because what if there's that foundation that I decide that I want a flat brush for then I also have the Mac 191 I don't ever use this I feel like what am I gonna use this for okay I'm gonna start a pile on the right side of me that is brushes that I'm going to get rid of here's hoping I actually get rid of them this is an it cosmetics it does not have a name on it hmm. it's a uh, thicker foundation style brush kind of the same thing like more of a paintbrush style i don't ever grab for that this brush is old 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 coastal sense they don't even make this anymore it was a dual stippling it was really great for foundation i will keep that this brush i don't even know who this is made by it's not it's another paintbrush style one i won't use this is a sephora pro airbrush concealer 57 brush i actually really do like this brush I don't use it that often um sigma large concealer e65 don't ever use that or grab for it another style of those combs that one's a real techniques one what i will do is i am going to list brands and where you can get a brand below with a link and then i'll try and list maybe names but i'm not going to do links of every single item that would just be ridiculous uh, bare minerals light stroke brush i love these brushes um that's not the conceal maximum coverage concealer is my favorite one um then i have a laura mercier secret secret camouflage concealer brush one is in really good shape one isn't i'll keep the one that is that every once in a while i use that um this is just an old school like comb and brush i won't use that uh sigma concealer f70 and f70 as well one is gold one is silver i only really need one of them i don't grab for those that often um god only knows what this brush was bare minerals no idea i'm not going to keep that one and a sigma large concealer brush f65 won't ever use that all right so let's stick these back in here and let's go on to let's go to the foundation one where did it go i don't know if it's really a foundation one i should really keep these out because i need to clean out these containers is the next thing so i'm going to put the brushes i'm keeping over here and keep them out and then if any of them need to be washed i'll do that as well 
Next thing, Sedona Lace 919 brush. I actually use this quite frequently. It's, um, I used to use it for the Chanel Bronze Universal all the time. I actually really like this brush. Um, I have a Cover FX Cream Foundation brush. I used to use this on the Cream Foundation. It's actually a nice brush, um, nice small brush. What is this? A Sigma Highlight Diffuser E71. It's like an angled brush. I don't think I've ever used that, ever. Marc Jacobs The Shape Brush. I bought this one for like doing contour as well. I don't grab for it that often, but it's one of those ones that there will be a situation that I'm like, I wish I had that brush. Sedona Lace 602. Yeah, 602 brush. Oh, same thing. I don't know. I like that style of brush. Uh, Sephora Pro Angled Contour 75. It has an angle to it. It's flat. I forget what I originally got this for, but that's one of those brushes that, you know, you hold on to. Okay, Bare Minerals Beautiful Finish Brush. I think this came with like, I feel like a powder foundation they sent me. It's not a brush I grab for though at all. Um, Sephora Pro Contour 77. I got this with the Laura Mercier Cream Contour and it was like, you went like that and kind of got it in really good and then you like kind of blended it out with it. It was a nice brush, I just don't use cream bronzers as often anymore. Oh gosh, I don't even, it's a Marc Jacobs, but it's the one that has like that angle to it. Um, I use it for foundation, but the number is so rubbed off from using it so much. It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe Complexion Master Brush number 16. This is a really nice brush. It's very, very, very dense. This one needs to be cleaned. Sigma Angled Top Kabuki F86. This one needs to be cleaned. But, you know, it's good for foundation. They're, they're good brushes. What is this one? Sigma Tapered Kabuki F86. Didn't I just say F86 on that other one? F84 was this one. This one is an F86. I used to use this one all the time for under my eyes. I haven't used it in a while, but look how dirty this is. That's just gross. That is just gross. All right, I'm gonna pull these face brushes out of some of these other ones. This is a Sedona Lace 928. Love this for foundation too. It's a really great brush. Uh, Sedona Lace FB07. This is a decent one. It's not my most grabbed for, but it's a good brush. Um, let's see here. This one, I don't think I've ever used this. Sigma Body Brush B05. It's one of those ones that I probably should, but I always don't wanna get it dirty. I should probably just use it. It would be really, really good in the summertime for like buffing stuff out. Um, this is a Louise Young LY07. I used to use this all the time before I got the Tom Ford bronzer brush for my bronzer. I really, really enjoyed that brush. Love this brush. This one's so fun. This one cleans really easily. It's an It Cosmetics and it is called the Full Coverage Foundation. This one came in a set. I don't know if you can see the swirl on that there. It has like this weird swirly thing. It's actually a really, really nice brush. Uh, Hourglass number two brush. I go back and forth with this one. Again, I use this one a lot for uh, cream bronzers, um, the Chanel Bronze Universal in particular, because it doesn't shed, which is really nice, the Hourglass brushes. I feel like I need to do face brushes because these eye brushes just, I just don't even know what to think of those yet. So I'm gonna do face brushes, which is this big thing here. Ugh. All right, oh, I used to love this brush. What is this? It is a Tarte brush. Came with a set, I don't really remember. It's actually really nice for both buffing in any type of powder or minerals, and it's also nice on a liquid foundation. This fan brush, I've never used this, but it's probably one of those things that I should. Sedona Lace FB01, I remember buying this. I've been using fan brushes a lot now, but this one's really thick. I don't know if it would just put on too much product. This would be good for a bronzer. Ooh, if you were gonna do a contour. Hmm. Um, let's see here. This is a Wayne Goss O2 brush. Um, nice brush. I used to use it under my eyes all the time. Wayne Goss number one brush. This was his original foundation brush. I know people are saying his brushes are really great now. I haven't tried any of his more recent ones. Um, I never grabbed for that. 
Sedona Lace 376. Great, just powder brush. I love this for something like the Laura Mercier Candlelight Powder or something like that. Elf Mineral Powder Brush. Just a little brush. I used to use this, I think, for setting under the eyes. I do not grab for that, and I have plenty of others that are similar. MAC 119. Um... I mean, this is good for a highlight. It's one of those brushes that, like, why get rid of it? It's a good brush brand. This is another one of those Coastal Scents brushes I told you guys about. It used to be called, like, the, oh, 518. They don't make it anymore. But I loved that brush. Let's see here. Bobbi Brown Bronzer Brush. I never liked this brush for bronzer. It shed like crazy. It is a really soft brush, and you could use it for powder and things, but I never liked it for bronzer, so maybe I need to just... And here's the thing. Here's why I keep a lot of these brushes. So it might be like, there's no way you ever need all of those, this, that, and the other, but here's the thing. I change things out all the time. Like that main set you saw in the roll, and I will post where I got that roll. It was from Etsy. Um, I have two of them that I interchange in and out when I'm washing them, but um, I interchange brushes in and out through all these different things. So yes, they might be down here right now, but they might be something I grab for later on. This is a Smashbox face, face and Cheek brush. Again, this one always shed on me, but it's a really nice brush for like blush and things like that. You can use it for a powder. Sephora Pro Airbrush 55, I think this was this one wasn't the original one. No, this is the newer one. Um, I used to use these for mineral powders all the time. Um, they're so soft, really, really nice. Just nice brush, really good brush. I like it a lot. Sigma Large Powder F30. I don't ever use this. They shed like mad. Gone. Sigma Brush F92 Blush Brush. Um, I did not use this one myself for blush. I use this one again. I have a lot of brushes I use for bronzer, huh? I will hold on to that one. It Cosmetics. I used to use this one all the time. It Cosmetics. What was this called? Number 225 Complexion Powder. That's the only downside. It's written on mirrors in a light pink. I used to use this for powder all the time. It is so dense, so nice, so soft. Really, really great brush. Real Techniques. Stippling brush needs to be cleaned, but I don't ever ever use that or look for it or wish for it Okay, Sephora Pro uh, this was the airbrush 55 the original one it had a silver handle again I use these all the time I used to have two of them like that I interchanged all of the time and it's just one of those things that I held on to <clears throat> Real Techniques buffing brush. I used to use this thing all the time for a foundation. It is really, really beat up. It's just not one I'll hold on to. I will say I will go through those brushes you're seeing me toss down there later um, and just, I'm going to give those to some friends, let them go through them and decide if they want them. Sephora Pro Airbrush 54 brush. This one I used to use for highlighter. It's super soft, really nice. I really like this. Um, it's a great option. Bobbi Brown Blush Brush. Everybody said this was the most amazing blush brush. Again, it, sh it was fine, but it shed on me. It just wasn't my favorite brush. I hold on to those in case I change my mind, guys. Okay, Marc Jacobs. Again, the number is off of this. I think it was called like the bronzer something brush. I used to use this actually when I wanted a really diffused look with the Bronze Universal, but it's a really, really nice brush. It's a really great brush. Um, Sigma Large Powder. F E30, E30. Nope, don't need it. Mac 120, 130. I don't even know. It's um, worn off. This is one of those things that I used to use for blush all of the time, but now it feels awfully tiny. But it's one of those Mac brushes that I should hold on to because one of these days I'm going to wish I had kept on uh, holding on to it. Chanel Powder Contour Number no. 2 brush. This is that angled one. I think it was Makeup by Tiffany D talked about this a lot. I actually, again, was not a fan of it. It sheds a lot. Um, it just wasn't my favorite brush, but it, I'm not going to get rid of it. Um, Sigma Large Angled Contour F40. It's just like that MAC brush that I held onto. I don't need two of those or three of those or four of those or any more of those. <laughs> um, I don't need, I'll hold on to one of them. That's fine. Let's see what this brush is here. Sigma Small Duo Fiber F55 brush. I do not use Duo Fiber brushes that often. I have quite a few Duo Fibers. Let's pull them all out. Hold on a second. I will go through them this way. Okay, so this looks like all of the Duo Fibers. So there are different types. There are 
These two, which are straight across ones, I will hold on to one of those. There is this type, which is, I feel like this one's for, no, it's a Sigma set. Um, it's more rounded. I will hold on to one of those. And then there is this one that's an It Cosmetics one that is more angled like this. I don't think I would ever use that. Another one of this Sigma, oh, this one's a Sigma SS150. It's when they used to name them that way. I'm going to pull all of these out because I do not use these or need these. So let's get rid of them. All the ones like that. Okay. So these are going like what I would rather is this type, which is the Sedona Lace 376. So much better of a brush. The Sedona Laces, um, these don't shed. The Sigma ones, horrible shed. This is way better. I would rather keep that 10 times over. Let's see here. Sigma Extravaganza set fan F90. Again, I don't use fan brushes that often. I've got the, uh, I feel like if I don't hold on to that, I'll wish I had. Okay, so let's see. This is, there's like hairs everywhere. Okay, let's go through some Real Techniques brush. This is an expert face brush. Um, this one is a little bit smaller. It's a little bit more precise. Again, I used to use this for contours, things like that. I have better brushes I prefer now. <clears throat> Real Techniques contour brush. This is the smaller one. I will wash these, by the way, before I offer to give them away. This was really nice, actually, for setting under the eye because it's pretty dense. I'm gonna hold on to that one. Um, Real Techniques. I'm just pulling out the Real Techniques I see. This one used to be called the Blush Brush. I used to use it for powder. I think it's too big for a blush. Um, I feel like I have so many other brushes, but this one's a decent one. Let's hold on to that one. All right. Eco Tools. I used to really like this. I think it's called their Blush Brush. It's really, really soft. It's actually a really nice brush. We'll hold on to that one. Let's see here. What is this one? An e no, Origins Powder Foundation Brush. I used to use this all the time for buffing powder. Oh, it's so soft. I forgot that. It's actually a really nice brush for just holding. I'll hold on to that one. This one is a similar version to that uh, Coastal Sense brush. This is a Coastal Sense one, but it's called the BRC S29. I don't know if they still carry this. This one is much more dense and more like t tight through here. You know what? I won't use that. We're just going to get rid of it. I'm not going to use it. All right. Let's take a look here. Sephora Pro Airbrush 54. This is the same one I showed you guys earlier. That's great for a highlighter. It's also really nice for under the eyes. I love those Sephora Pro brushes. They're probably my favorites. Morphe MB30. I heard, I think it was Jaclyn Hill talking about this. Again, really nice for just getting in there. It is very, very similar to two of those others that I showed you. So I don't really feel like I need that many. Um, this is a Sonia Kashuk uh, Tools number two. Never used it, never really liked it. This is that NARS brush that everyone loved, and I feel like it is the roughest brush I think I've ever used. I'm not keeping that. I hated it. All right. This is one of those Hakuhotos. It's the only one I bought. It was S111. It is super, super soft. It was supposed to be for blush. I used it for under my eyes and for a highlight. It's fine. I don't grab for it. Um, Elf blush brush. Won't use it. Let's go through and separate some of these out now. These are a lot of brushes that are almost all the same. So I'm just pulling them out. We'll take a look. Let's go through these. It No, is this an It Cosmetics? It Cosmetics CC Skin Perfecting Heavenly Skin Brush. It's really small. It's actually kind of, it's nice. And then there's an angled one, which is called the Heavenly Skin. What is this one? Skin Smoothing Complexion. This one actually would be nice for under the eyes too. I love the It Cosmetics brush. That's another line. These are so many. Okay, so this one was an It Cosmetics, the Velvet Luxe Flawless Face Line. Um, this is an angled one as well. This one's really nice for foundation. Wow, what is this one in here? This one's a Sigma, no, Sedona Lace 217. I think I used it for under my eyes, but I don't really remember, but it's a decent brush. That's an eyeliner brush, we'll stick that over there. All right, this is a foundation, Sedona Lace 480. I love this little buffing one. You just really can buff that foundation in with it. Um, what is this little baby? Smashbox, tiny little blush brush. I won't use that. All right, now on to these brushes. These I have to like look at and see because there are so many of them that look very, very similar in size and all of that shape. I 
Okay, Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush F35. I have two of them. I will just hold on to one because um, in case I ever decide I want it, I'm holding on to the gold ones of these. Um, and then Sigma Small Contour F05 and the Sedona Lace FB05. It's like the MAC 109. Again, if I ever wish I had one. Um, then we have the MAC 120, it looks like. Sigma Powder Brush E, or no, F. 10 two of those so this is the mac one which wow look at those bristles and these are the two i'm gonna hold on to two of them i'll hold on to the mac one and the other one whoa then we have the sedona lace fb03 and the sigma extravaganza tapered face f25 it's a very tapered brush i don't need two of those then we have the Sigma Large Powder Brush in F20, two of them as well. I will just hold on to one of them. Again, this thing looks gross, needs to be cleaned out. All right, I have a feeling this is gonna be a crazy long video. So I'm gonna try and boot through these eye ones as fast as I can. This is a little hourglass thing, don't need it. Sedona Lace 863, tiny little brush for really blending, it's nice. Um, Sedona Lace Large Shader Brush E60, just a flat shadow brush. A Sigma Extravaganza Tapered Blending E40, it's just like a 224, I'll hold on to that. This is an old e.l.f. brush when they were back and they were white, don't need it. Um, is this Sedona, Coastal Sense CF, no, C431 Precision Detail, it's a really good under eye pencil one. I don't have many of these. The Sigma Large Fluffy Brush E50. I don't use these very often, but I will hold on to one just in case. Let me see if I have another one. Nope, I thought I had a MAC one. I guess I don't. All right, let's keep going. Sigma Extravaganza Medium Angled Shading Brush E70. It is more of an angled brush. I will hold on to that. This one, no name, no anything. It's a small, little, dense shadow brush. It's actually quite nice. I'll hold on to it. Same thing, no idea who, what brand this was. This one's a little bit wider and thicker. This is the Laura Mercier Crease Brush. I love this brush. This is a small travel one. I have a full size and love it. Sigma SS239. Um, I think I have the MAC 239 in here somewhere, and if I do, I would much rather that one. All right, well, here's the gold one. We'll hold on to the gold one and trash the other one, or not trash it, you know what I mean. Diffuse Crease Brush E38. It's a smaller crease brush. Eye brushes, you never, like, eye brushes are crazy. Like, you end up using all different types, and you never know when you're going to need them for different shadows. Sigma Blending E36. It's a tiny, tiny little one. This one's great. Sedona Lace 904. I love a good pencil brush. Um, what is this? This is a Coastal Sense BRCN06. Mm, not really a brush I would grab for. This is a Sigma SS217. Again, back when they actually called them 217. I will hold on to that because I love a good 217. Sigma Buff and Blend E39. Good blending one. What is this? Sedona Lace EB11. I don't know what this is, but I won't use it. Oh, old Mac SS, or no, Mac 224 SE. It was small edition or special edition, I think it was. I feel like it's one of those I should hold on to. Uh, small tapered blending brush E45. I wonder, I'm going to put this off to the side if I don't have another one of those. This, I have no idea who made this. It's a nice little pencil brush. This is one of those big ones. Don't need that. Tapered blending E35. Great brush. Can't have too many of those. Sigma Tight Liner E16. I'm going to put that over here because I'm going to put it with eyeliners. Tapered Blending E40. Uh, let's see here. Sedona Lace 863. Blending E25. Can't have enough blending brushes, guys. Sedona Lace 407. I think I'm going to hold on to this one over this one. An old elf one, another one of those. Um, C433 Pro Blending Fluffy Brush. I can never have too many of those. There are a couple of these, which is the Eye Shading E65 and the Wide Shader E59. Hmm, did I hold? I do have one of these, so I will get rid of this one. The wide one I'll hold on to. Large shader E60, didn't I say that with something else? Yeah, large shader, so I'll hold on to the gold one and get rid of the other one. Mm, Wayne Goss, number four brush, I'll hold on to that. 
uh, Sigma SS224. Wow, this brush. I don't think I would ever use this. Pointed Crease E48. Mm, you never know. That's one of those ones you never know. Okay, Sedona Lace EB15. It's a pointed one. Coastal Sense BRC SO6. Not a bad brush. An old Mac. Gosh, two something. I'll hold on to that. This brush, I used to like this. It's a Sonia Kashuk one. Really good for blending. What is this one? Wayne Goss, number six. Flat shadow brush. A Sedona Sigma all over blend E37. Wayne Goss, number five. This is a super tiny one. There is a Wayne Goss, number three, which is a nice blending one. And a Essence of Beauty crease brush. I used to love those brushes. Okay, so holding on to that, I'm getting putting this one down. Don't need that one. All right, on to eyeliners. Again, eyeliners, I like to have a lot of eyeliner brushes because I tend to change my mind on what size line I want and things like that. And then I end up also, if one's dirty, needing another one. These are also like shader brushes, I think, in here, I'm finding. So let's take a look and go through this real quick. Okay, these are the shader brushes. So I have an old Lou Cornell 270. This is actually a really, really nice brush for getting super precise under the eye. Um, this is a MAC 214. It's the really, really tiny one. This is a Sigma version of it. This is a Smashbox. Okay, I love this, but I also hate that it's dual-ended. It's just like I never grab for that. And then a Sigma Soft Shader E20, which I think is the same of that MAC I just showed you. All right, the rest seem to be eyeliner brushes, so let's go through. This one is a Shader Inner Corner E46, so I was wrong about that but I will hold on to that one. Uh, this one is a SS209. So this is a really nice pointed brush with a lid on it. Um, and said Donalay's E19, a nice angled brush. You can never have too many of those. This one is a dual ended, this one, Sedona Lace EB17. I won't use that. That's not a good one. Let's see here, Sigma Extravaganza, small angle E65. That one's actually really nice, I like that. Uh, this is an old school, who was this? Who made these? I don't even remember. Um, I had a couple of these. I'm going to hold on to that because I did remember. Oh, wow. This one's Wayne Goss number eight. I don't remember this. It's the tiniest little brush. Uh, Sephora Professional. No idea what this is and it doesn't look like that good of shape. This is an old elf angled one, not in good shape. Um, L'Oreal liner brush. It's actually a nice little brush. I'll hold on to that one. You never know. What is this? Oh, this came with that uh, Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess. This is an old Mac 242 SE. But it is just not something I use or grab for. All right. Sigma Eyeliner E05. I love the E05. It's such a good eyeliner brush. Um, small Eyeliner E10. You never know if you need one that's a little bit smaller. Uh, Sedona Lace EB23, an angled one. I love a good angled brush. Here's another angled one. Here's another angled one by Sedona Lace. Here's another angled one. This one's a little bit too flared out. Sigma Angled Brow E75, that's even smaller. I use the brow ones for eyeliner too, guys. So, all right, so then here is the Sigma Flat Definer E15. I love these brushes. They're great for getting in at the lash line. And the MAC 272, it looks like. 212. 212. Um, let's keep going here. This brush, I have no idea what this even is. It's a tiny little brush. Looks like for concealer or something. Same thing with the Real Techniques version. And then whatever this tiny little thing is that I never grabbed for. This is a Heavenly Liner Blending Brush by Bare Essentials. Might be good for just that lower lash line. This is an old elf one. Don't ever use it though. Let's see here. No name on this. It's just a really nice, super, super fine liner brush. This is a good smudger brush. Wayne Goss 07. Well, that's a good one for smudging in the lower lash line. This one's a Sigma Small Eyeliner E10. This is a strange angled one that I will not use. This one is a... Small eyeliner E10, a small version of it. 
a couple more brushes. This is, I have no idea who made this, but I remember liking this. Hmm, I'll hold on to it. I don't remember. This one's a Face Secret Smudger Brush. I think that was from Sally Beauty Supply, if I remember correctly. And another Face Secret Smudger Brush. I don't think I need two of them. Now on to the brushes that I keep right now on my vanity that I grabbed for. That pink one is a nail file. Um, my Artiste, what is this? I forget this. I think it's like number nine. Um, I really like this brush. Does anybody else have it and find that they're kind of hard? Like you've really got to work to get those clean. Um, Sedona Lace Pro, Pro Featherweight number 90. One of my favorite brushes for under the eye after I use powder and just wiping it away. Love that. Uh, Sephora Pro Flawless Airbrush number 56. I used to use this one to apply under eye, but this one is just a really nice brush. This one I used the other day. It's a Marc Jacobs, no idea of the number. It's for mineral powders, but I actually used it for blush the other day, and I really liked it. Um, I was going away somewhere. So these two are must-haves. It Cosmetics. It is called the Heavenly Luxe Complexion Perfection number 7 brush. This one is obviously dirty. This one's clean. Has, um brushes at the other end, synthetic. The other end I don't use as much as the one for foundation. Sephora Pro Featherweight Powder number 91. Love this brush. It's perfect for powder and just blotting it on. Chanel Powder number one brush. I was using this for a while for bronzer and then I kind of went back to my Tom Ford. This is a MAC 130 brush. It is a dual stippling brush. It's kind of like that Real Techniques one. I don't remember what I got this out for, but I used it recently because it's right here. Marc Jacobs, the conceal brush. It's a really, really nice concealer brush. I need to clean that one, obviously. Uh, whoa, so Mashbox. What is this called? Crease brush, just crease brush. Um, like the 224, good brush. This Tarte one, I really like it again, but it's double-ended one with a flat side and then a fluffy side. Uh, this was an It Cosmetics Heavenly Luxe brush number 320. I thought it would be really good for the crease. I actually think it's too stiff for the crease. It's not one that I use or grab for. I don't know why it's up there. Uh, Sephora Pro All Over Shadow number 12. This is a really good brush for just over there. The lid. All right, we have a Sigma Short Shader E20. Tiny little brush. Um, Sephora Pro Featherweight Crease Brush, number E36. Good blending brush. Uh, this is a Sigma Eyeliner E11. This is like a smaller version of the E10. Uh, the Morphe E18. This one's actually a really nice, like, just smudger in the crease type of brush. Uh, Sephora Pro Flat Liner, number 25. I do like this one quite frequently. I've been using my It Cosmetics, though. Um, Smashbox tapered shadow brush it's just a good shadow brush for on the lid okay do not need this one this one's an old sigma like concealer style brush uh sigma blending e25 like i said never have too many of those makeup designery no name on it but it's a nice little shadow brush uh sigma cream color e58 brush i think i use this for a cream shadow for a while there uh, makeup Designery, again, no name. It's just a crease brush. I really like it. Morphe G24. Uh, they don't make this anymore, but it's actually a really good brush. And then MAC 266. This one I was using for my brows for a while there. Hourglass number four. Great, great, great brush. Uh, let's pull these out. Laura Mercier Crease Brush. I talked about this earlier. Favorite crease brush, like one of my favorites. Anastasia Beverly Hills. This came in one of the shadow sets. Again, it's a dual-ended one, but I don't actually like it. Um, Sephora Pro Domed Crease Number 16 brush. It's a wider, thicker crease brush. Sigma Firm Shader E57. Good deep one there. This I used with my brows for a while there. Brow Contour. Sephora Pro Brow, con brow Contour Number 36. I love that little brush. Um, Sigma Smudge Brush E21. Great for under the eyes. MAC 239. There's that 239 I told you I had good brush. And then Hourglass, what number is this? Number six brush. It's a nice smudger brush. On to the last bit, my makeup roll, brush roll type of thing. First thing, I have been using this Tarte, um, I forget what it's called, but it's like 
a nice long handled kabuki. I've actually been using it with the Guerlain Terracotta Spray Bronzer and I go like this and then I buff it in with this. So I use the edge to apply it and then I use the top to buff it in. Really love that. And then on to these brushes and I will show you what it looks like in here. These are the brushes that I pretty much use every single day. So I'm going to pull it out and then put it right back in. So Tom Ford Bronzer Brush. I use this one all the time. Really love it. It's like one of the best bronzer brushes out there. It Cosmetics. Oh, these silver things again. Bye Bye Pores Powder Brush. Heavenly Skin. No name on it. It came in a set. I use this for foundation, actually, for liquid foundation. Um, then I have a Sedona Lace 980, which is just a favorite brush for just powder afterwards, like a Laura Mercier Candlelight style of powder. Then I have a... I don't even know who makes this. IB104 Deluxe Soft Fan. I found a similar one through Sephora though, which I think I would get if I ever lost this one. It's just perfect for that highlight to give you that perfect spot, not too heavy, not too light. Absolutely love that. I've been using it a lot lately. The Sephora Pro Featherweight number 90 I showed you guys. This is the one that I use under my eyes to brush away any excess powder. Uh, then the my favorite blush brush of all time, all time, It Cosmetics, and it is the number 217 Flawless Blush Brush. I love that it's angled. I love that it's larger. I just go like this. I, I don't use any other blush brushes, really, unless this one's packed away. Two of the Sephora Pro Featherweight number 19 brushes. These are must-haves for me. I use them every single day. I have a Sigma Extravaganza Tapered Blending E35. You guys saw me keep a couple others of those. Um, I also have a Sedona Lace EB09, which is a MAC 217 dupe. This brush I use quite frequently. It's the Sigma Firm Blender E44. I use this to put the darker color at my outer crease and then use like the 19 to blend it in. Uh, Sephora Pro number 14. It's just a big shader brush. Great for on the lid, packing on powder. Then I have two smaller ones. I have the Sephora Pro Small Shadow number 15. And then also the MAC number 213, which is, they're pretty much the same thing. It's hard to actually tell the difference. Um, I really like both of those for just like the brow bone and like the inner corner and things like that. Um, I use this brush, which is a Sedona Lace EB13 for cream shadows. I use this today with that Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. Um, the Sigma Pencil E30, you guys saw me keep a couple others of those. I really like that. Uh, Sephora Pro Shader Brush number 18. It's a small little shader brush, perfect for blending out and like smudging out that under eye. The Morphe E36 brush. Um, I don't even remember what I use this for. I haven't used it in a while. I'm going to put it over here. Then I have just a, you know, typical, I don't even know what these are called, Sigma Brow and Lash E80, just to brush out my brows. I have a Sigma E05, the eyeliner brush that I sometimes use to smudge under the eyes. And then my favorite liner brush is the It Cosmetics 227 Angled Liner. And I use this to put liner on and then I smudge it out with one of the other brushes. Then I also have a Morphe M439 in here for foundation if my It Cosmetics gets too dizzy, too dizzy, too dirty. And the Bare Minerals Maximum Coverage Concealer Brush, by far my favorite concealer brush if I need concealer. And that is all of my brushes. I've got a good amount here. What I'm going to do is go through and kind of clean up these glasses and clean them out. Then I'm going to put all the brushes back in and I will show you guys what it looks like when I'm done. All right. So I kept brushes that I use more frequently on this side, face brushes, ones that I don't use as often on this side. I got rid of all those little crystals because I think they were making a mess. These are foundation brushes, more foundation brushes. These are all eye brushes and these are eyeliner brushes. Oh, and the concealer brushes are in through here too. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm sorry that was a super long video. I wanted to tell you each brush, even if I didn't tell you a lot about them. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions on anything you saw here, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet done so. And as always, guys, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.